Hi, welcome to Old Black RVs. My name's Duke, and I wanted to take a moment and show you the new 280 RL Showstopper by KZ. First thing you notice, of course, you got your two recliners right here in the back. You've got a nice little area here to set down your drinks, just kind of an in-between spot. You got some storage right here. Also, you have an outlet here, so if you wanted to plug up a lamp, if you like having a lamp there, or a little radio, anything you want right there. TV antenna right here, just raise and lower that. It helps you get good, uh, good TV signal. You got your kitchen right here. This kitchen, of course, you got your high-rise faucet. You got your sink covers with your deep sink. It's one thing I've always liked is how deep these sinks are. You've got plenty of storage in the kitchen area. That's one thing they really try to do is try to give you as much storage as possible. Uh, actually, here's your weight sticker. This camper weighs 5,500 pounds, so uh, towing it isn't that big of a deal. Any half-ton truck should do the trick. A lot of SUVs also. Storage. Of course, your drawers. Solid wood. Metal roller guides pull out all the way. And like I said, you can actually put some weight in here. Uh, so you don't have to worry about it overloading those too much. I have had some in the past. You put something in it, it seems like it wants to fall through the bottom. Um, of course, right here, microwave, your vent hood, three burner cooktop. And a lot of people have asked me in the past, why three burners instead of four? Well, the front burner is actually a high output. So if you want to boil water or whatnot, you actually use, it, use the front burner for that. But the reason they don't do four is you can't actually get four pots or pans on here. You can do three. So that's the reason they do it and, give you, and plus on top of that, like I said, to give you a high output. You've got an oven right here. Six cubic foot refrigerator with freezer on top and refrigerator on bottom. Nice area to kick back, relax, and eat that meal you just cooked. Large U-shaped dinette, even got a couple little cup holders over here for you. This also makes out into a nice size bed, as you could probably see. So here, if you wanted to sleep two people, you could. Also, one thing I like on the back of these cushions right here, if you notice, it's vinyl. So that way, you can flip all these cushions around. It's on the back of all of them. You can flip them around. Somebody sitting there don't have to mess up your fabrics. These fabrics are also what you call 750 rub fabric. So every time somebody gets up or sits down and stands up, that's what we call a rub. So these are actually rated for 750 times of sitting down and getting up before they start showing wear. A lot of manufacturers will use a 250 rub, 300 rubs, and there's some 500 rubs. But that's really and truly, 750 rubs is a very, very good uh, grade of fabric for RVs. Your sofa right here, it does jackknife with storage up underneath it. They do try to give you some more storage up here in the slide outs. Over here, got a little, little extra storage there, like kind of like a magazine rack or a knickknack rack. Place for a television here. We just mount it right here, and uh, you've got place for your cable and plug up. Now, the reason I don't actually put a television in here is because if I buy it from the manufacturer, it's probably going to cost me about $500. I can go down here to Best Buy, get one for $200 or $300, and it'd be just as good, if not better, of a TV. So I'm doing it to try to save you a little bit of money. Um, you've got right here a large closet, or sorry, a little large area here, large closet. Um, thermostat for your air conditioning. It is uh, completely thermostatic controlled and ducted air. All your heat and air conditioning go through this one thermostat. The bathroom. Of course you have your um, small tub with your shower. You've got medicine cabinet in here to put your stuff in. A little cabinet down here to put some more stuff in. Of course your sink with hot and cold water. Gas electric hot water heater, so I mean you just flip a switch, you don't have to worry going outside and trying to keep the pilot light lit, you can just do it from inside. All your switches are going to be wall switches here, um, all throughout the unit, it makes it kind of convenient. 
Also, you have the fan in here. Monitor panel to make sure all your tank levels and your water pump. Of course, your toilet there. And, and like I said, one of the big things they always try to do is give you more storage. Like up under this, neat this whole U-shaped dinette of storage here, here in the bedroom, the walk-around queen bed. They actually give you more storage up underneath it there. Um, storage is a big, big key. You got your two shirt closets, one on either side. Both are the same size here. You have more storage up top here. Uh, good place to put your shirts or folding clothes. You have a place for a television in here. Uh, you got a 12 volt booster to help you get reception if you're out somewhere where you don't have cable, but this it does have a cable hookup also. Of course, just an outlet. And people, that's solid. So, I mean, you can put a TV up there and you can put a nice size one and not have to worry about the weight so much. But you could put a 19 or 22 inch right there. Pretty, pretty simple. Um, one other thing I'd like to point out is the flooring. This floor, they use, I mean, it's a, it's a nice, uh, nice design, but it's also a real durable floor. They're making this floor now to where, you know, if you're coming in, you got a lot of wear and tear running through here, they're not using the, the cheap vinyl. This vinyl right here is a good thick mill. I uh, mean, you can, you know, you're not going to hurt it. It's made to last and made to not show wear and tear. Uh, so it's really nice to kind of have, you know, just a little more to hold up. Also, the floor. The floor on this one is a 5 8 inch exterior grade plywood. Um, it's not OSB. There is some people using OSB in the industry. Uh, there's a couple things I don't like personally about OSB, though. One, it can absorb water, which we all know. And two, they put it, they build it in 30-foot sheets. So when they have a camper like this, yes, your floor is one solid piece, and maybe that sounds good, but in actuality it's not, because with the plywood you got the four by eight sheets, you got a little gas between, you know, not really gas, but it does allow movement. Well, when these trailers go down the road, what are they going to do? They're going to flex. There, there's no way around it. It's like taking your house, taking it down the road. Everything's going to flex and move. But having those, uh, that gap in the floor and where it can do like that, it's going to take less stress off your sidewalls, off your windows, off your roof, less chances of leak. So that's one of the reasons I like plywood. Also, plywood is just more durable, and I think we all know that. If we go to Lowe's and we look at OS, the price of OSB and the price of plywood, it don't take a rocket scientist to figure out why they're actually using the OSB. Also, the roof. Okay, this is a rubber roof. This is what a lot of manufacturers use out in the industry, and this is just a sample of it. Um, but the rubber roof, unfortunately, has a problem. It likes to dry rot. We all know if we take an old tire, throw it out in the yard, it's going to dry rot. This is no different. You got to treat it twice a year in order for it not to dry rot and or and and not give you leaks down the road. We actually use a material called vinyl. Now this vinyl is a little tougher material, but also it does not dry right. You do not have to treat it. That's why we use it. So you don't have to get up there twice a year and treat this roof. This is maintenance free. The only thing you need to do to your roof is get up there about once a year and check your caulking. Step on the outside though, and I'd like to take, just give you a quick image of the outside of the unit. got nice fiberglass exterior on this unit because it is a showstopper they give you that free you also have an electric awning of course your triple steps on both doors a uh, little place outside a little cable outlet here if you want to watch TV you also have a plug-in out here um, but really and truly uh, if you have any questions on this unit or anything else I'm kind of running out of time on the camera so I'm being rushed but if you have any uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in contact with us. You can do it with the request request a quote button or pick up the phone and give us a call. We'll be more glad.